Hey guys, it's Aaron for Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm doing a little bit of fishing at a tiny little spillway. It's right behind me here, and uh, it's right below a big lake, and it just rained a lot yesterday, and sometimes, after it rains a lot, a, a lot of fish will get pushed down the spillway into this little area, and uh, it's usually not too hard to catch them, so it's probably just gonna be some multi-species fishing today. You know, maybe some little sunfish, hopefully a little bass, maybe a little catfish, I don't really know, but I think the first thing I'm starting off with today is just this little trout slayer kit, and uh, it's basically just these little crawfish lures, as you can see right here. And uh, it should be a pretty good little uh, lure for some multi-species fishing. And also to my right over here, the creek goes uh, down a ways and it looks like I could fish there. Used to, there's a ton of brush ac across the creek, but now like it looks like they've cut all the brush down. So I may be able to fish over there too. So anyway, let's get fishing and uh, hopefully catch some fish. All right guys, well here's the spillway uh, right here below me. It's really not that big, so I doubt the fishing here are that big. But I'm gonna start off, I think, with the white colored crawfish right here. And uh, I think this will do pretty well in this water because it is a little bit stained. Oh, got one. Oh, oh, I thought he got off. All right, guys, there's our first fish. Which is a tiny little green sunfish. All right, guys, well, there's our first fish. Really not a big fish at all, but still looks pretty cool. It's just a tiny little sunfish. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh. Well, that was not the most careful release, but he just fell through the crack back into the water. Oh well. Oh, made another fish. Oh, oh, this is a warmouth. That's pretty cool. I've never caught a warmouth out of here. I didn't know these guys were down here. All right, guys, well, that's definitely a surprise catch. That's just a little warmouth. Uh, I've never caught one of these in here, and I really, I did not know they uh, were in this creek, so that's pretty cool. And uh, just another tiny little warmouth. Well, the first one was a green sunfish, but another little sunfish. All right, guys, there's our second fish. I'll, I'll give this one a little bit more of an agile release, but he still has to go way down there, so he should be fine. Oh, a bass, nice, a little bass. Wow. Oh gosh, I gotta tighten my drag, I gotta tighten my drag. A little bass. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's not even bad. I was not expecting to catch a bass that big out of there. All right guys, well obviously this is not that big of a bass, but for that tiny little spillway, I was not expecting this and I mean, so far, I'm very pleased with like three different species and one of them was, was a bass, so that's always cool. You know, I love catching bass out of the tiny little creeks like this and uh, that's a nice little fish right there. All right guys, so this is a cool catch. It's a little bass, but uh, it's pretty good for a tiny little place like this, so just let him down. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Oh, is this a bluegill? That's four species with our first four fish. Just a little bluegill, but I'll take him. All right, guys, well, we, we might end up catching a bunch of different species today. I mean, we've already caught four. Oh, oh well. Oh well, there that fish goes. He just fell off. Oh, another bluegill. My line keeps getting wrapped around my rod. Oh well, there's another bluegill. I'll take him. Just a little guy, but it's another fish. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow, that is a baby right there. That is a baby green sunfish. It's a really cool colors on him though. Oh. All right guys, well there's that tiny green sunfish. He's really small, but he's a cool little fish. Oh. Wow, now we're getting, we're getting a bunch of bluegill now. Just another little bluegill. All right guys, it's like our third bluegill of the day. We'll take him. 
<laughs> Alright guys, well I'm now joined here with Alex and we're back at the spillway. Uh, that creek proved to not really be the best, but uh, it is, it's really fast flowing and it's just, it's kind of smaller, but I think most of the fish are just concentrated right here, so uh, we're going to fish here for now. It's really light, like it's hard to, the bass was like way harder than the rest of them. Look, Alex, uh, little bass. Oh. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. All right, guys, this is our second bass of the day. This one's a lot smaller than the last one, but I'll take him. It's pretty cool to catch another little bass. Just give him a little plop down there. We're now down here, uh, kind of on, on level with the water here, and uh, I'm just trying out this little crankbait, and uh, I think it could definitely work. Oh, I'm not ready to like get out of here. <laughs> we could go like try the creek up above the lake. Ooh. Oh, you got one. Nice, Alex. That is a green sunfish. Nice, nice. It's only about five inches long. He's a strong little guy. Yep. I'll show you better in a minute. Let me just get this hook out of his mouth. Fortunately, our lure is still here. There's a nice little uh, bug here. Yeah. There you go. You're like balancing on the rock. It's about as long as my finger, a couple inches. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> oh, I saw him swim off. A few moments later. Oh, Alex just got one. Yeah, that's a green sunfish. So this cool. little, this tiny little creek right here, there's a ton of creek chubs and like a few green sunfish, but, and uh, green sunfish have much bigger mouths than creek chubs. So you got another green sunfish. Which I still have my crankbait on, and I couldn't really cast it, so I just let Alex go with his lure, but they look pretty cool. Oh, 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 there he goes. <laughs> cool. 